Just before we get started to this video, I want to let you know if you play on PlayStation and you want your game capture, your Elgato game capture to work, first thing you must do to get to work with Streamlabs, go to your PlayStation settings, scroll down till you get to system, scroll down where you see enable HDCP. That must be unchecked that and then you'll be ready to go. Now let's get into this video. What's going on you wonderful people? My name is Brandon. Welcome back to Creighton TV. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to set up Streamlabs OBS for the Mac. You want to learn how to actually get everything up and running. Make sure you enjoy it, like this video, subscribe if you're new. Let's get to it. So first things first, what you need to download. There's going to be some stuff you need to download to get Streamlabs working properly on Mac. So what you want to download, you want to go to Elgato's website, Elgato.com. Go to their website. Once you get to their web website, all the links that I'm talking about in today's video will be down in the description box down below. Go to Elgato's uh, website. Click on download. Now there's two options. There's an option that says Windows and Mac. We want to make sure yours is on Mac. You want to download Game Capture for Mac and the OBS link for Mac, but only download the OBS link if you have an HD60S. It's the only thing that it works with. I'm gonna show you both. You hit this little plus icon, it's gonna show you compatible with the HD60, HD60S, HD60S Plus. That's the game capture software that's compatible with that. Now, if you own an HD60, even though that capture card is like four years to maybe five to six years old, it will not work with Streamlabs. So, time for upgrade if you own an HD60. Now, hope you guys understood that. HD60, it's time to upgrade. Now, if you own an HD60S, continue watching. Or S Plus, continue watching. So, download the game catcher for Mac. See what it's compatible with. Now, the OBS link for Mac is only compatible with the HD60S. If you own the HD60S Plus, you do not need the OBS link. Why? Because Elgato has made a new um, capture card that's more efficient with Mac and you know more plug and play options. You only need the H the OBS link if you have an HD60S. If you have an HD60, you will probably need to upgrade or you have to, um, there's another method that you have to do, but I'll talk about that in another um, video. Right now, it's just how to set up Streamlabs. Just before we keep going. So HD60S is only compatible with the OBS link. HD60, no. You might have to do display capture if you have dual monitor set up, you know, something like that. Yeah, just leave a comment down below and I can try to help you out with that one. And then stay tuned for another video. So OBS link for HD60S. HD60S Plus, no OBS link. You do not need that. Download those two. Once those are downloaded, you'll be good to go. Next. Hopefully it should download the OBS Studio, which you will need to. If it doesn't, I put this link down in the description also below. Make sure you download your correct one. Click on Mac, you know, this is Windows. So make sure you click on Mac so it lets you know. Then after you, you download that for Mac, go to streamlabsobs.com, what everybody's come here for. So once you go to streamlabs.com, it's gonna already be there, which it should recognize your computer already as Mac. Download it, download it once you get it all up running. After you download that, last thing you will need is the NDI source plugin. You're gonna come down here, you're gonna cross this here right here, highlight it, Mac OS. You're gonna download this plugin, Mac OS. Click on the right one. Well, some people might be not paying and reading the instructions, but install instructions. Make sure you click on the right one. Click on Mac OS. Now that we got that all in. The NDI source plugin is for HD60S. You do not need the NDI plugin for the HD60S Plus, but you can download it if you want to. But I'm just letting you know, you really don't need it because HD60S Plus has a plug and play option. Now, since we got that all squared away and you got everything downloaded, first thing next to what you want to do is open up Elgato software. Once you open up Elgato software, you're going to let it load. Make sure you have it all connected to your system, PlayStation, Xbox, whatever you prefer, Nintendo Switch, whatever you're using. Make sure you can get a background picture. That's first. So once you be able to get the background picture and you see that it's, you know, it's up and running and everything else, you're good to go. Then you want to click on this little gear icon right here to set up your settings. Now, if you own an HD60, stay tuned. Do I have a video how you can have your settings set up? Because the HD60 is the only thing you know compatible with Elgato software. It still runs on Mac, but you won't be able to use OBS or Streamlabs unless you have a dual monitor set up and you do display capture, but that's a whole other story. See my settings right here in the game capture HD preferences? This is how you want yours set up. So go ahead and freeze this video and go from there. You know, copy my settings, 
Now this little blink area right here where it says 1080p 60, you know, I just clicked on right there. All that. Now sometimes when you run Elgato software, it can tell you a little triangle might pop up and tell you you're losing frames or you're dropping quality and everything. So just leave that right there. But the way you fix that is, okay, this is what you want to do. Um, you choose your device. I clicked on the little quick gear icon, you know, you choose your device, whatever. Mine is set to PlayStation 4, because that's what I play on PlayStation. Well, you set yours to whatever you play on. Uh, the HDMI color range, you want to change it to expandable. Profile, I put mine on 1080, because I have a powerful machine. But if you don't have a powerful machine, you can change it to 720. It's still going to give you the same thing, but always allows 60 FPS. Always. You know, you want that good, high quality. Now, the quality, you can put it on best. It just means more gigs. I just put mine right in the middle. It helps mine. I like to edit, edit my own videos and everything else. And then you don't want you to never keep cropping none. And everything else, uh, unchecked. Picture quality, you can change these. But me, I have a good enough com monitor that mine's looking fine. Audio, you always want to keep audio, analog audio game between negative 6 and 12. You never want it to peak too high in the red because then viewers would get mad and they don't want to watch no more. So, you know, you want to bring that down between to negative six, basically negative six. Profiles is just where if you have profile set up, if you're sharing your capture card, but me, I'm not sharing my capture card with nobody. So you don't have to worry about profiles. But just before we get out of here, you're playing with HDMI. Yeah, I probably see HDMI and yeah, I probably say with analog. With analog audio means you have the Elgato chat link. Yes, that's what that means. So he says, check this box and use HDMI for video with analog inputs for audio. Now, if you have the Elgato chat link, you check this box. If you don't, don't check it, because then you won't be able to get no game audio. But if you have the Elgato chat, chat link, so basically you want to hear your gameplay through your headset and hear your desktop audio, check it. Me, I have it, so I'm going to show you right now. I checked it. It's going to change. There you go. Click OK. Now, it's going to update itself. See how I said it? 44, 60. Yeah, see now it's fixing itself. It adjusted. Now I'm back to what I want. Now. Everything else on here, you don't have to worry about. Close Elgato software. You with me? Good. Close Elgato software. So that's not running no more. Now, the OBS link, just before you open up Streamlabs, the OBS link will be up here in the uh, Mac status bar. A little icon. You won't have all these other icons because I download other things. But yours is right here, wherever it is. That's the, what the icon looks like. Make sure it's not on disabled and never put it on disabled because that will mess up everything. Select your game capture, which is HD60S. After you do that, click on preferences. When you click on preferences, you want to make sure that everything's up to date. The output 1080p to 60. Capture device, you can select your capture device. Since I checked that analog out um input, you want to make sure this is on analog. If you don't have it on analog, you didn't check it, put it back to HDMI. That's what you want to do first. Put it back to HDMI. Then um your audio gain, you make sure that's negative 6. You know, you can leave everything else the same. Automatically check for updates, launch when you come in. Now you're all good. Y'all, you're all ready to roll. Now let's get into the, the ball game, the ball parts. You know, Streamlabs OBS for Mac. Once you find that, open up your Streamlabs. Me, I like to put it in my dock because of what I'm gonna be working with. You guys will see my live stream camera pop up. So now it's bringing in the gameplay. Now you see that little blue icon, and you once you see that blue icon, everything should be popping up. It's trying to bring in the gameplay. There you go. Mine, let me see, I gotta resize it. So if you get it like that, I'll show you another one. Remove it, and I'll re-add it which is easy. So yours, when you get yours, it will just say, yours will just be like this. Mine, I set up all these. So this is your scenes, your sources, your mixer. You see how you see my audio going? You don't want it to peak too high. You never want it to be in the red. So just before we start off with this, let's start off with settings. This is your layout. This is the editor, your mini feed. So you can see here, this little icon right here where you chat, whatever you're streaming to. You want to click settings. Settings was this right here. Click settings, your own general stream. You want to add your stream key right here. Whatever your stream key, wherever you're going to stream to Twitch, you know, YouTube, Facebook, add your stream key, wherever you can find that. Bam. That's where you add your stream key in here, your output. You want to change the output mode to advance streaming, copy my settings as is. You can leave this where it says, uh, Keyframe intervals to zero. I just changed it to two. Your, your encoder is however fast your graphics card is. I just left mine on soft software. It does the job for me. But if you want to uh, copy my settings, be, go ahead. Recording. Now recording, you can only use one um, capture device at a time. That's why I told you to close Elgato software because you can't have Elgato running in the background when you're trying to use Streamlabs. Just let you know that. Unless you have, we'll talk about that now. But if you have an HD 60, HD 60 and you want to run use Streamlabs or OBS, you need um, dual setup monitors where you can do display captures and capture one screen from the other 
and run the Elgato on one screen and you'll be able to run it that way. If you want to know about that, leave a comment down below and I'll be able to help you out with that. One. So standard, you know, MP4, you know, copy my settings. Now the audio, this will stay as 44. Me, I changed mine to 48 because I have an audio interface, but change, leave yours to 44. You know, 44 does just as good. You leave it on stereo. Now you'll come down here and you'll see, oh, mic is disabled. Well, well, all this will say is disabled. You just want to add your mic if you have an external microphone or you're using an amp or whatever. Just add that, you're good to go. Video, bass, 9, 920 by 1080. Output, 720. Change this to 32. By default, it's by, I think it's 16. Just change it to 32. Common FPS value, 60. You can leave, you can change this to 720 if you don't have a strong machine. For me, I want, you know, I want the best performance. Now, hotkeys, I don't have advanced. Advanced is with something else that you want to do because there's going to be, when you run Streamlabs on a Mac, which I'm still working on right now, trying to figure out, there's a little slight delay. You might be off, you know, fixing out with the streamers and everything else. You'd be like, oh, why am I off? But if you stream on Twitch or YouTube, you can find in their settings that there's a uh, something that says low latency that helps you interact with your viewers. You want to make sure you're on that and not on standard. That will re reduce your lag or delay. But come down here to stream delay. I put zero, enable. Okay, this is ret ret retry delay. I'm still working on this, but I'm trying to figure, figure out if it should be zero or 10. I'll let you guys know in the updated video. Okay, so now you can close settings. In-game settings. Well, yours will say scenes or new scene, whatever. So when you get back down here and you want to add the Elgato capture card, how you want to do it? You want to click the plus icon where it's over here in sources, click the plus icon. So this is where you find all your sources to add widgets, overlays, all that other stuff to make your stream like that. You can get them from Streamlabs. This video is not being sponsored. You can't get from there, but you will have to pay for them. I don't pay for them. I learned how to make my own. So just work with that. But there you go. Start fresh when you first download this. Start fresh. Don't import from OBS or unless you had used OBS before and you want to import your overlays, you can do that also. But if you're new to it, just start fresh. So you come down here and you're looking like, okay, where do I get the game capture? Remember that NDI source plugin I told you about? It's this right here. You're going to click on that NDI source. Add source. Now you can name it to whatever you want to. But for this demonstration, we'll leave it to NDI source so you know what it is. Then you'll have this pop up. Well, it should find your computer right away. Leave all the settings the same. You're gonna hit done. After you do that, you're gonna drag it out, you know, to scale. Make sure it fits, come down here, lock it so it doesn't move. Now, anything that you add on this, make sure your NDI source is down at the bottom. Make sure things are above it so they can show and be able to show on your, uh, your screen. Just like if I showed you if I did one over here on mine, go to NDI source, add new source. So as you see, I brought mine down to the bottom. So I can have, you see my viewer count that's at the top. I can have all my stuff overlay on top of the screen. Now you see about that. That's all you need. And then anything you want to add, like you want to add webcam, you just go back and you look on it. Anything that you click on, it tells you right there on the screen. You know, color, media, tells you what it's going to be. You know, display. And this is what I was talking about, display capture. So you probably need two uh, things if you want to run Actually, like Streamlabs, you want to run. You need display. Uh, you need two monitors so you can run Elgato on one. Open it up. Don't close it. And then you display capture the other one. And yeah, you know, whole a whole group setup. But this is how you add everything to Streamlabs. Like mine, if I uncheck my webcam frame and this, you'll see me. There I am right there, everybody. Welcome to Creighton TV for this demonstration. Bam. So I'm just showing you that right there. But that is how you run Streamlabs OBS on the map. That's how you get everything started. From there, so if you did enjoy this tutorial and you want more tutorials like this of how to get more things, like how to uh, sync, synchronize your audio, your gameplay, and all that other stuff, leave a comment down below in the comment section. I will always have to subscribe if you're new. I'm always here to help. I respond to everybody. If you got any questions, follow me on all my social medias, which will probably be right here. So just go ahead and follow me. It'll also be down in the description box down below. If you did like this video, you want to see more video tutorials like this, which will be coming out, how to work Streamlabs properly on the MacBook, yeah, fixing delay, um, microphone sync, uh, cameras, webcam sync, uh, getting your game audio, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new. Another tutorial will be back out on Tuesday. And the other than that, this is your boy Brandon coming to you from Creighton TV, and I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Peace.